Biodome is a 1996 American comedy film directed by Jason Bloom. Biodome was produced by Motion Picture Corporation of America on a budget of $15 million and was distributed theatrically by Metro Goldwyn Mayer. The plot of the film revolves around two clumsy, dim witted slackers who, while on a road trip, look for a toilet stop in what they believe is a shopping mall, which in fact turns out to be a bio dome, a form of a closed ecological system in which five scientists are to be hermetically sealed for a year. The film has themes of environmentalism, combined with drug use, sexual innuendo, and toilet humor. The film stars Stephen Baldwin and Polly Shore, and has cameo appearances by celebrities such as Roger Clinton, Kylie Minogue, Patricia Hearst, and Rose McGowan. Jack Black and Kyle Gass first came to global attention in Biodome, in which they performed together as Tenacious D on screen for the first time. The film grossed $13 million at the box office in North America. Biodome received negative reviews. On December 18, 2013, Stephen Baldwin appeared on Mancow Muller's radio, TV show, confirming that he is in talks with Polly Shore about making a sequel to the film revolving around the children of Bud and Doyle, their characters. Plot Bud. Squirrel. Macintosh and Doyle. Stubbs. Johnson are best friends who live together. Bud wins a round of rock, paper, scissors and gets to hit Doyle in the head with a book. Their girlfriends Monique and Jen, who are environmentalists, arrive to take them to an environmental party when they discover the injured Doyle. The girls learn that the book was used to injure Doyle as an excuse to not go. Annoyed at the boys' lack of respect for the environment, the girls call the boys from a payphone to announce they'll be joining some hot swim team guys at a party down by a lake. Bud and Doyle drive out to the lake, only to find they have been had. Driving back home, they pass by the Bio-Dome, where scientist Dr. Nolan Faulkner is about to seal his team in for a year without outside contact. Mistaking the biodome for a mall, Bud and Doyle go inside to use the bathroom, to be sealed in along with the scientists. Dr. Leakey, the project's investor, discovers them and demands that they be kicked out. Dr. Faulkner refuses, claiming it would destroy the purpose of the experiment, and so Bud and Doyle remain. Although things go smoothly at first, this proves to be a mistake, as Bud and Doyle continue their antics, harming themselves and destroying many of the scientists' projects. The scientists plead to Dr. Faulkner, but he only relents after the two find a secret stash of junk food and experiment with laughing gas. Bud and Doyle are then banished to the desert environment section and after three days of being stuck, they discover a key in the lock of one of the windows, which opens a back door, and they escape the bio-dome. As Bud and Doyle are receiving a pizza delivery at the dome, they learn Jen and Monique are attending an environmental party with other men. Bud and Doyle decide to outdo the party and hold one inside the bio-dome to win them back. The party backfires as it throws the experiment into chaos and Jen and Monique disavow the boys. The scientists prepare to exit out the desert through the door, but realizing their idiotic actions, Bud and Doyle intervene and demand they all stay and restore the dome to full health, with Doyle swallowing the key as a last resort. The group gets a grip on the situation and begins to fix the dome together, while the boys and the scientists bond with each other as a team, and Bud and Doyle's efforts in restoring the dome soon draw a large group of fans and supporters, with even Monique and Jen joining in as one of the supporters. Meanwhile, Dr. Faulkner, who had disappeared the night of the party, has gone insane and evil and is starting plans to blow up the dome with homemade coconut bombs. After several months pass and Earth Day approaches, Bud, Doyle, and the team are successful in restoring the dome. But on the night before the doors open again, Bud and Doyle discover Dr. Faulkner, hoping to apologize to him and make amends. He tells the two that he is rigging pyrotechnics for the door opening ceremony and gets them to help plant the bombs. Once Bud and Doyle are on their own with the bombs, they goof off with one of the coconuts and after a failed long pass, they discover their explosive nature. They alert the others and try to exit the dome early, but the door cannot be opened until the clock hits zero, when the bombs will go off. 
Bud and Doyle run back into the dome to find Dr. Faulkner and get him to deactivate the bombs. They wind up finding him and through a chase and struggle, they knock him out and use the remote to disable the coconuts. With the biodome experiment complete, the team gets ready to exit the now open door, but as they begin to walk out, drive. Faulkner returns with one last coconut bomb, trips, and the bomb detonates at the entrance. It turns out everyone is okay with Bud and Doyle reuniting with Jen and Monique who are proud of what they have been able to achieve. Bud, Doyle, Jen and Monique bid farewell to the Biodome scientists and drive off, where Doyle yet again has to use the bathroom and the car is seen driving toward a mysterious nuclear power plant. Dr. Faulkner, meanwhile, has escaped the dome through the desert window door, having retrieved the key Doyle swallowed, and flees through the desert as the police are heard searching for him to arrest him for his insane criminal actions. Topic. Cast Polly Shore as Bud, Squirrel, Macintosh, Adam Weissman as Young Bud, Stephen Baldwin as Doyle, Stubbs, Johnson, Robbie Thibault Jr. as Young Doyle, William Atherton as Dr. Nolan Faulkner, Joey Lauren Adams as Monique, Teresa Hill as Jen, Rose McGowan as Denise. Kylie Minogue as Dr. Petra von Kant, Dara Tomanovic as Mimi Simpkins, Henry Gibson as Dr. William Leakey, Patricia Hurst as Mrs. Johnson, Roger Clinton as Professor Bloom, Taylor Negron as Russell, Jeremy Jordan as Trent, Channon Rowe as Roach, Trevor St. John as Parker, Butch McCain as reporter Joachim West. Ben McCain as news anchor Aries West Jack Black and Kyle Gass as Tenacious D Phil Lamar and Paul Eating as assistants Phil Proctor as Axel Kevin West as T.C. Romulus Roger Bumpass as narrator Reception Produced on an estimated budget of $15 million, Biodome grossed $13.4 million in North America. Biodome has an approval rating of 4% on review aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes, based on 23 reviews. Metacritic gives Biodome a score of 1 out of 100 based on reviews from 10 critics, indicating overwhelming dislike. It is one of seven films to hold this rating of one, the other six being Ten Rules for Sleeping Around, Chaos, Inappropriate Comedy, Not Cool, The Singing Forest, and United Passions. At the 1996 Golden Raspberry Awards, Shore Co. won a Razzie Award for Worst Actor for his work in the film, tied with Tom Arnold for that actor's performances in Big Bully, Carpool and the Stupids. Topic. Sequel On December 18, 2013, Stephen Baldwin appeared on Mancow Muller's radio, TV show, confirming that he is in talks with Polly Shore about making a sequel to the film revolving around the children of their characters Bud and Doyle. Baldwin had also stated that he gets recognized more for his role in Biodome than any other film he has done thus far. In an interview published in Variety on January 17, 2017, he reiterated his desire to make a sequel, saying that Shore was interested and he has funding, but is seeking studio approval. Topic. See also List of American films of 1996 Mars 500 Biosphere Montreal Biodome Biosphere 2